Hello, in this video let us see how to create a motion guide. For this let us first create a background. Click on the rectangle tool. Check if the layer type is correctly selected and create a background. Let's change the background color to green. Now I need a path along which I need my object to move. Okay, so we know what a motion guide is. We are going to create a path and we will guide an object to move along that path. So to create the curved path, I select the spline tool. After selecting the spline tool, we need to position it by just a left click then followed by a right click. Move the cursor, left click, move the cursor, again left click, move the cursor, left click and we are done. When you need to complete, you need to double click it. Okay, now we observe that a path which is with sharp edges has been created. Click on the transform tool, select the path and now make sure that the toggle tangent handles is alone selected. So I will switch off all the other handles. And now only this handle I am selecting. I will select this path and switch on this handle alone. To make this a curved edge, click on this and drag. Similarly, click on this and then drag. So we are now trying to create a curved path along which my object has to move. Now we are done with the path. So let us create the object that should move along the path. Let me create a circular object. Create, click on the circle tool and create the object. Let us change the color of the object. Now I need to resize the object. Click on the scale tool. Click on the handle. Okay, click on the transform tool. Select the toggle radius handle. And now resize the circle. Now we have the circle ready. What should we do now? We need to link this object to this path. So this is called a spline. You can see here it is called a spline. So we need to link the circle to the spline. How to do that? This is the most important part. We have created the path and we have created the object. Now to link it with this spline we need to select both the spline and the ball. After selecting click and drag the ball to the spline. So in order to click and drag this has to be enabled. Okay only then we will have that green handle. So bring the ball Place it anywhere on the spline. After placing it, right click on the spline. You will see link to spline option. Click on it. Now the circle is actually linked to the spline. You can move it anywhere on the spline. You cannot move away from it. Okay, so it is linked to the spline. Now let us create the animation. This we are already familiar with. Initially, let us place the ball here. 
Okay, the circle is placed here. This is the zeroth frame. Now click on twenty fourth frame. Select the keyframes window. Click on add new keyframe. I need to animate now. Okay, so this is zero. This is twenty four. We have animated it now. Click on this. Click on new keyframe. Now move the ball to the next position. Now we see that the ball gets animated along the spline. So let us complete it by creating two such animations. Create a new frame. Animate mode. Place the ball to the next position. Another frame. Now click create a new frame. Animate it. We are done. Now. Let us move to the beginning and start executing. So this is a simple demonstration of motion guides. We have created a path and we have linked the circle to the path, and the circle moves along the path. Hope it is clear. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.